Hey guys and welcome back to Nuke on this channel. So today I will show you how to set up SSH connection to your rocket.net virtual machine. So your sites on rocket.net, so hosted here, will be able to be accessed via SSH. So let me show you how to do this. For this you will need to get Putty. So this is a tool that will be able to connect to SSH. So download Putty and install it. So I will link in this video description the link where you will be able to get Putty. Download it from here and install it. Afterwards, you will need to run Putty Gen. Sorry, so Putty Gen. So you will need to start this up and click Generate. Afterwards, move your mouse over this blank space that you see here move it just randomly and you will get to this screen. Now you will need to access the dashboard of your rocket.net page and click manage. Afterwards click advanced. Be sure to enable SSH access here. So this should be green. And afterwards scroll down and click import new key on SSH keys. Here in the key name, copy the key command from here, for example, and paste the name here. The password can be left blank and be sure to copy the entire content of this text box and paste it in the key here. Click create. Afterwards, you will see like this, it will uh, see you, you will see here that it is not authorized. So click the checkbox here to authorize the key. And afterwards, you will be able to connect to rocket.net server with SSH. Now you should save the private key of your uh, putty and uh, click no on password passphrase protection. Uh, sorry, yes, and uh, save the private key somewhere locally on your server. Okay, now you should be able to connect to your uh, server using Putty. Now let's start up the Putty program and click overview here on your server, scroll down and copy the FTP address. So this is the IP address where you need to connect. So paste the IP address here in Putty. Afterwards, copy uh, the path where you saved your private key and go to SSH out and click browse and select the private key that you saved. So this is the path of our private key and now we can click open. If everything works correctly, a login will appear here. And the login that you need to use is this that appears here in the SFTP username. So don't forget to use this. Also, don't forget that you cannot copy paste things. So write this manually. In this case it's I0AG113 and hit enter. And here you are. Afterwards, Putty will authenticate you with the RSA key, the secret key that you used, and we are logged in. Now we can give commands to our server. It will work. So here it is. Things are working well. So yeah, this is how you can connect to your rocket.net virtual machine using Putty. I hope this tutorial helped. Please check the video description for links and if this video helped, please subscribe to this channel. It is really appreciated. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye bye.